Good morning everyone. You can probably notice from the sound of my voice that I'm not very happy. In fact, I'm in the throes of thinking, shall I give up the whole hobby of keeping the plants? It's just not worth it anymore. Um, I've been growing plants since I was a kid, particularly the cacti and succulents since I was about eight or nine, perhaps even before then. But what has happened over the year has made me think and reappraise whether it's worth growing the plants. As I mentioned earlier, there's been a bug which I put down to the soil, which has come from a very well-known garden, uh, not a garden centre, a do-it-yourself garden centre. Probably one of the one of the uh, biggest ones in England um, and I put it down to the fact and other people have supported me on this that the John Innes compost has been added to with garden rubbish taken from the council tips well what has happened with me as I've said before you just get these flecks of white there's some on there. There's flecks of white. Flecks of white. Flecks of white. Flecks of white. On my Corydopsis peculiaris, which used to be beautiful plants, they're all dying. They're all dying. They will just be taken and put into the compost bin. They're dead. There's lithops dying. I've lost any any enthusiasm, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm will probably stop growing the plants. There's just not the enthusiasm now. You try and do your best all the way through and um, you get compost from a company which you thought you could trust but through greed and I say greed it's greed on behalf of the councils that sell this stuff which is nothing more than pure crap let's face it garden waste material which you're expected to save up each week you have it collected by the council um, well, what happens to that? It's obviously ground up and mixed with the compost. And any pathogen, fungi that's in it, is going to cause this. I've tried treating it with Chinosol. I've sprayed with neat methylated spirits. In there's pure mess. And that doesn't seem to control it. The only thing that controls it is death. The plant dies. And here's another one. Nelli, please subpoena this Nelly, a beautiful plant. Look at the side of it. And you imagine in the start of the year this area was full of plants. Not anymore. They've been given to the tip, the garbage tip. There's another plant here, slowly dying. It will die, thanks to this compost. More lithops, more white. Even in, inside the fissure of, of, of that plus It just makes me feel that I've had enough and quite frankly it will be quite easy to just say right leave the, the greenhouses alone. Over winter just close the greenhouse doors if it gets cold and the plants freeze that'll get rid of them even quicker. That is how I feel. So, you know, I don't know if anyone else, well, I'm assuming it has affected other people. 
surely I'm not the only person that bought the one bag of well, one bag or so of, of dodgy soil. There's some more here, look at that. The reason I know it's the compost is it only affected plants that have been growing in this particular soil. I went to the uh, branch last night and I mentioned there that, um, that there is a lot of dodgy soil. Someone there did mention a good brand of soil, which I believe is only available through uh, their allotment association. Well, how soon is it going to be before they get on the bandwagon and use what I'd call crap? There's no other word for it but pure and adulterated crap. I might sound rude, but I feel rude. I could use stronger words than crap, actually. Look, everyone, everyone's got it on. You try and clear it off and it comes back. The plants, as Jean's here and she said, she agreed with me, the plants don't sparkle. A term which went back many, many years at one of the cactus shows, someone said the plants did, uh, don't sparkle. Well, my one certainly don't. All you get is a crop of this white. I'm assuming it to be fungus, but I would like someone else to, uh, if anyone else has come across this, because believe me, you'll pot your plants up and the next thing you know is a load of dead plants and the way I feel at the moment, they can remain dead and I give the hobby up. Well, since I was eight and I'm now in my seventies, having to do that, I think is pretty wicked. And I blame it purely and simply on this country, the need or the greed of people getting money. There's no thought for the general public as long as they get their money. And that is the way, as far as I'm concerned, the country's gone. I'm not entirely British, I'm half Canadian. And I'll tell you now, if I could have got over and lived in Canada, I would, but I'm too old at 70. I feel that this country has let me down. We're now heading towards Brexit, which, as far as I'm concerned, is the worst thing we've ever done. Big business, what business we own, and it's not many, it's all companies that are owned by foreign owners. They will leave the country, and I say, the, it'll be like a ship without a rudder. Things don't look good. You look at the crime rate, how that's gone up. It's not even safe to walk down the road now. You get a blinking knife stuck in you, your back or front, depending. It's a happy place, I don't think. Years ago, I was talking to a, police, a policeman who lived next door when I was a kid. He was in the uh, the flying squad, or the Sweeney Todd as they used to be called. And I remember him telling me when I was a kid, I was virtually, not exactly sitting on his lap, but I was quite young. And he turned round to me and said, any time the country is having problems with either crime rate or murders or stuff like that, the first thing they would do is increase the police to counteract anything. Well, do they do that now? The opposite. Anyhow, I'm going to put this up. Um, any comments would, would be more than welcome. I'll end with the brighter side of things. They're not looking too bad. They're not, you know, say, 
these are plants which were they're different species of plants. It's mainly on the mes on, on the mesems that are causing this. But this is a nice side thing. I've showed this before, and also in here, the the cordyceform seem to be doing well. It might be that I shall end end up dumping all the mesems, and uh, just keep a few cacti, a few cordyceforms. I just don't know. At the moment, I do feel. I won't swear by saying pissed off, but that is exactly how I feel. Um, if I've offended anyone by a little bit of stronger language, I do apologise. But that is how I feel. I feel that I've been let down. And that is what's happened. A hobby I've had for a lifetime and looks like all this stuff you see now will probably end up on the compost heap. Anyhow, I can bring this more up to date by showing you these plants in a week or so time. Just see what happens. I've treated them with what I think controls it. I've tried Chinosol. I've tried pure methylated spirits. Without much luck, I, w I would say. So anyhow, I've said my pieces. Um, credit goes to a Mr. Crapper, where we get the word crap from, who invented a flushing toilet many years ago. So I'm not being rude, I'm just using a word which is derived from Thomas Crapper. And in fact, their toilets, I believe, are still available and still excellent toilets. So anyhow, thanks again. Any comments would be most welcome. I hope I haven't offended any, anyone. I do feel very strong about this. Um, I feel let down. And um, that is how, how I feel. So any comments, please leave. And I'm going to get this up online. Thanks again for watching. I may be more happy next time. I doubt it, but you never know. At least it's not affecting all the plants. But I'm definitely, you know, I'm thinking, do I give up? One bright spark in the whole affair is I went to uh, the hospital for an outpatient de uh, department yesterday at St Helier's. An excellent hospital I may add, along with St George's which is also an excellent hospital. Um, anyhow, when I came out of the hospital I had to cross the road to get a bus. And there's a green there, I don't know if anyone knows the area, but um, You've got the hospital and across the road you've got like a, a playing field or an open space. Anyhow, I looked across there and lo and behold, I saw a boot sale. I didn't go to it because it was, all, it was Wednesday and virtually about to close. I think they're only on a half day. And I looked at it, I thought, God, I recognise some of the the, vet, the heavy lorries on that from Wimbledon boot cell. So I thought, well, is it a boot cell to take over from Wimbledon? Well, anyhow, cut a long sh story short, I rang the organisers up and it looks like they have taken over from Wimbledon. So this Saturday, if the weather's nice, I might cheer myself up by going and having a look round the boot cell. So they did have one good thing in the day. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not all gloom, although a lot of it is. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'm going to definitely go this time. So thank you.